Hi everybody, it's Chef Christine. It's time for Popsicle of the Week again. And this week I'm going to be featuring some stone fruits and some oranges. Oh, what the heck, what I'm making is a fuzzy navel. <laughs> so I had these beautiful peaches and I had one apricot left over from last week. And I had a cutie mandarin. So I cut the cutie up. This is a little um, mandarin orange um, and um, I am soaking it in a tablespoon each of peach brandy and apricot brandy. And so that's going to be a little alcohol component. You would not have to use the brandy in this and um, you could do it without any alcohol at all. It needs a little bit of fluid, but you wouldn't have to use that. You could just use orange juice because the components of a fuzzy navel are orange juice and peaches um, and well, orange juice and peach schnapps. <laughs> I'm adding fresh fruit so we're going to use the peaches and the apricot because I had it and it's a stone fruit just like the peach family and my um, my soaking marinating cutie segments and I've got one small organic peach chopped up right here because it was organic I used the skins and part of it just to give it a little bit of color in my popsicle and then I've got another one right here and I just want to finish uh, mincing this up so that the parts um, the peach pieces are small um, and so I have got it taken off of the of the pit and I have peeled it and I have sliced it and diced it and now I've got it down to where I'm just doing small little pieces so that you can still get peach chunk you'll be biting into a peach chunk in the popsicle but it won't be a great big piece Okay, so now it's time to mix everything together and I'm going to take my minced up peach pieces. This is going to be a really pretty popsicle. And then I'm going to throw in my slightly larger, still small dice apricot. And then I'm going to add my mandarins with the two tablespoons total of peach and apricot liqueur. Mix that all up and then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of my apricot sauce and this is the last of those cooked down apricots that I got and that's the last of that apricot is, is part of that batch too and that should give us just enough liquid to hold the popsicles together really well. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very good mix. Oh, oh yes, that's very, very tasty. And I don't drink much. I usually only use alcohol to cook with, so two tablespoons. Yeah, all of these popsicles is not a whole lot of alcohol content. It's maybe a little heavier than it would be if I were just adding vanilla extract, which is also alcohol-based. But that's basically the idea here. So I'm using these for flavor and not to make this an alcoholic beverage. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more. Give it a little bit more liquid with our apricot. It's actually, you know, really concentrated apricot puree. But yeah, there we go. That's more like it. That's what we wanted. Okay, now I can start filling my popsicles. This is going to be really chunky and chewy, which will be nice when it's frozen. Okay, so I ended up with six, seven, eight, nine, ten of my uh, popsicles for my fuzzy navel popsicles, and that will be just fine. <laughs> I'm perfectly okay with that. So we'll go ahead and put our little sticks in and get these frozen up, and uh, we will see how these come out. I, I kind of feel like any fruity adult cocktail, if you start looking at the ingredients, like when we did pina colada, I had a whole fresh coconut. So that would normally be done with a can of coconut milk, but I used a fresh product with that. And fuzzy navels are usually made with orange juice and peach brandy, and I'm using actual oranges and peaches and apricots and a little bit of the brandy too. But if it makes a good beverage flavor combination, 
it probably will make a good popsicle. So whether you make it alcoholic or not, it's a good place to look for flavor combinations if you're looking for ideas. Um, so I'm very pleased that people are making popsicles out there. I've had several people tell me about the popsicles they make and show me, send me pictures of their popsicle more bowls that they're using. I think that's awesome. I'm very glad that I'm inspiring you guys to get out there and make your own popsicles this summer. So we're going to freeze these. We'll check back in when they're done and uh, we'll see what they turn out like. All right, our fuzzy navel popsicles are all frozen, so let's give one a try. Warm that up a little bit. Let that slide out, and there we have it, all of our luscious, chunky, fruity goodness. Let's try it. Mmm, mmm. That's really good, and the chunks of the peaches and the apricots and the cutie mandarin orange make for, it's like a fruit salad, it's like a fruit, frozen fruit salad. It's really tasty with a little hint of the peach and the apricot brandy in it. Really delightful. I'm going to take my time and chew my way through this popsicle because there's a lot of, te of dense texture to it. So enjoy these fuzzy navel popsicles. I hope you have a great week. See you next time.